Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another video and today I'm gonna to be talking about something, something different. I normally talk about health and fitness and one thing I haven't talked about yet is mental health, which is probably the most important thing out of anything in the health and fitness spectrum is how you feel and what you think because that's gonna dictate what you do and what essentially happens to you in your life and whether or not you're happy. And it's all about happiness. So I wanna reintroduce myself. Hi, my name's Jordi and I suffer from anxiety and OCD, which is an anxiety disorder called obsessive compulsive disorder. I've had OCD probably for about five years now and I've, I'm pretty sure I've had anxiety my entire life, but it is definitely flared up uh, due to my OCD. The reason why I want to talk about this is because I want you to know that if you're suffering from anxiety, depression, any type of mental illness of any sort, you're not alone. And this is the one thing that in the past two years I've gone through, uh, I've gone through a big evolutional like stage where I was in probably the darkest place in my entire life and I felt like there was no one there for me. I felt like I was alone and I didn't want to be here. I, I, I thought the world would be a bit better if I was dead. And it's crazy what happens when your brain goes to that side of just darkness, of just pure despair. And, and I, I contribute a lot of my, my mental state now of how I'm feeling, which I'm a lot better because I, I seek, seeked help and I just want to let you know it's okay to talk about your feelings. It's okay to talk about the struggles that you're going through. And it's even better to seek out a psychologist or a, someone that you can talk to that is unbiased, that is there to help you without any other expectations or anything. They're just there to listen and to understand and then to help you cope. I just want to plead to you, if you are struggling and you don't feel like you have anyone to talk to, then reach out. There are services that I will be listing in the description, that I will be listing wherever I can list them. And the best thing you can do is just talk about it. Because the moment it gets off your chest, the moment you let it free, whatever those thoughts may be, the better you will feel. So, yeah. It's a bit of a different kind of conversation. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a trained professional in psychology. I'm not here to provide you with the answer, but I can let you know that it's okay to seek help. It is okay to take those steps that may feel a bit uncomfortable. And I know, I know there's a stigma behind getting help and seeking that help and fuck that. <laughs> because when it comes down to your happiness and your life, and potentially you having a future or not, f fuck that noise and focus on you and doing what you can to help yourself. Because at the end of the day, we're stuck in our bodies with our minds, no matter who is around us or who isn't around us. So it's up to us to take those steps and you will be thanking yourself for doing it. And I know it's not easy. I know it's, it's, it's a struggle, but reach out. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Jordy from Iron Force Fitness. This has been a bit of a different kind of heavy video, but I felt like it needed to be made and my message needed to get across because one more story out there is one more potential of helping one more person and that's what really matters. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in that next video. Have a great day.